do you have a beautiful Photoshop design that's just sitting pretty and doing nothing? Well, it's time to turn that PSD into a living, breathing WordPress website. In today's video, I'm going to show you three powerful, easy methods to convert your PSD into a WordPress website. Just in case you are watching this video for the very first time or you are stumbling on this channel for the very first time, I am Dabs from Seop Media. We are a WordPress agency and on this channel, we post quality content that will help you get a grip on WordPress and also help you set up your WordPress agency. Without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials already. There are two important stages to web creation. The first stage is the design stage and the second one is the development stage. You see these two stages, they need to align for you to have a pixel perfect website. If you are very good designing with Photoshop, then you are halfway down the creation process. You may even have a PSD file just because you saw a template online and you love it. Either way, let me walk you through three easy method to turn those Photoshop file into a WordPress website. Yes, let's start with the easiest and the most hand of method. Hiring the pros at Seop Media, we specialize in converting PSD into a WordPress team. We have a team of expert developers who can demystify any Photoshop file no matter how complex the design is, and then we can turn it into a WordPress theme for you. You send us your design and boom, we handle this HTML, the CSS, PHP, responsive layout, speed optimization, SEO structure, I mean everything, literally. And if you use our services, what you'll be getting is a done for you. No coding, no headache whatsoever. Professional grid code and speed, SEO optimized out of the box, great for agency and even non-techies. Whether or not you just want to design yourself a website and you have the design in Photoshop or you design website for clients, you need a partner who can help you convert PSD designs into WordPress. We work at the background. We don't need to be in the forefront. Then you can talk to us at Seahawk Media. Now, for tech lovers and tinkerers, this method is where design meets AI magic. There are two easy steps to get this done. But before then, if you are new to Figma and you've never used Figma before, it is a UI UX platform for designers where you can design whatever it is in your head, whether it's a website, app, whatever it is, and then you can deploy this live. So feel free to just create a free account on Figma. Figma is just simply at figma.com. You can always consider a paid plan much more later when you are very, very much acquainted with the interface. So let's get back to our Photoshop and converting it into a WordPress website. Like I mentioned earlier, we will be relying on two easy steps to get this done. And the first step is for us to take our PSD file into Figma. And the second step will be to take it from Figma to WordPress. So now let's start with the first step. To be able to take your Photoshop into Figma, you just want to go to your browser to search for any available plugin or just type in PSD to Figma plugins in your browser and you should have tons and tons of results. You should be able to see plugin like PSD to design, Photoshop importer, Kodia AI, amongst other awesome tools to help you take your PSD to Figma. Choose any one of your choice and then run the plugin inside of Figma and follow the process. Once you have your design in Figma, the next thing is for you to go over this design. You'll see that nothing is broken, nothing is missing. And when you are finally done with any edits you want to do inside of Figma, this is time where we want to call the heavy eaters, which is the AI plugins like your taco, which would help you convert your Figma design into a WordPress theme, or we call in plugins like UI Kemi, 
or even figure bags which will literally help you convert this design into WordPress and with any page builder of your choice, whether you want to use Elementor, you want to use Gutenberg, you want to use Breakdance, or you even want to take it even into Webflow. You just need to uh, search for this plugin inside of Figma and you can run them as usual and then you can follow the process. For this process, there are quite some pros and cons to this. Uh, for the pros of using a Figma and AI, you have full control over your design evolution. And you can also use reusable, scalable component. AI does 70% of all the heavy lifting for you. And then you can learn both design and development in the process. Uh, for some of these are uh, AI tools, they are free for you to use and also at best low cost for many of these plugins. And now let me talk about the not too good part of using this. Some of these plugins might require some learning curve. You might need to learn how to operate them. And also the AI generated code sometimes might need manual cleanup. Like if you get into WordPress, you might need to spend quite a number of time for you to take out on needed frames or needed containers in that sense, or maybe rebuild uh, some broken aspect. Basically just do cleanups. You might still need to understand WordPress structures like headers, loops, templates for you to be able to get the best. Just think of these as the smart developer's playground. You are designing, you're automating, and still learning along the way. And it's a lot of fun if you are really, really into tinkering. So now talking about the final method, and I'm thinking in my head, what if you just want to build this site directly from your design without touching a piece of code, and you also don't want to mess around with Figma or AI, this is where Elementor and other page builders like Breezy, Oxygen, Beaver Builder, amongst others, comes to play. Every of these page builder comes with a drag and drop interface that literally help you to build anything that you want to build at all. Good thing Elementor has hundreds of add-on functionality plugins that has made it almost impossible for you not to be able to design anything whatsoever you want to build. But again, let me just give you a pro tip if you want to use this method. You may need to use AI to help you with custom codes to style your design just in case you don't have coding skills. If you need to use all the add-ons available in the market, you might be installing hundreds of add-ons on your WordPress website just to be able to achieve your design. And when you are done with this, you need to add interactivity, animations, form, menus. It is easy to just give your PSD design life using a page builder like Elementor. And as well with this page builder, you can optimize it for mobile, for speed, and also for SEO. Boom! You got yourself a full custom site, no code needed at all. Before I end this, let me also give you some pros and cons to using this method too as well. For the pro, apparently no coding required. You also get to have super fast visuals. Well, it might be a little bit overbearing and overwhelming if you are not familiar with it or you are using it for the very first time. You can also build everything using these page builders from headers even to custom footers. You also have tons of ready-made widget and templates available for you to jump on to amplify your design. And finally, to make your website responsive is super, super easy. And now let's talk about some cones using this method. It can get bloated if not optimized. You might need to be adding a lot of JS or CSS and you might just be having a lot of bugs to fix. And again, this might require a slight learning curve to perfect spacing, margin, breakpoint, and a lot of things you need to understand using page builders inside of WordPress. Again, sometimes this is not ideal for large scale or deeply customized feature. You might just want to code it outside, make it a hub, and then eventually bring it into WordPress.
But in all honesty, if you're looking for the easiest DIY approach, where you get to see your design come alive without writing a single line of code, but you building it yourself one at a time, then this is the best method for you. And finally, there is no one size fit all approach here. It all depends on your budget, your skill level, and timeline. Whether you hand it off to a team like us at Seahawk, or you dive into AI powered Figma workflow, or you get hands on with big builder like Elementor, what does really matter here is that your design doesn't stay stuck in Photoshop forever. Make it live, make it work, make it interactive. And if you learned something new today, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button and comment below which of these three methods you would use to convert your PSD into a WordPress site. Or do you even have any secret method that you have tried before? There is a particular one you want us to talk about here. Let us know in the comments and we will be happy to hear from you and to help you as much as possible as we can. Thank you. That's my time. I'll see you in another one. Keep designing and have fun.